Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Chief Chuan. You are watching episode three of my Subnautica Below Zero playthrough. In this episode, we're gonna try to see what the sea truck's made of. Let's get after it. Alrighty, guys. So we got the sea truck made. That was pretty hype, but we didn't get to use it. So let's take this bad boy for a rip. Let's see what she's got. I think... Oh, how are we looking for food? Got some food on us? We have some stuff we can... You know what? Let's let's depot some stuff here. That's all we need to do. Alright, so let's get rid of some stuff quick. Lord knows we got a lot of it. Uh, the sea eggs. We can... Can drink that. I wonder if we should turn some of this titanium. You know what? Let's turn some of this titanium into some uh, into some of that titanium ingot just to get some space moving because hokey dinah. We need some storage space. That's what we need. This will give us plenty. I think anyways. Because that takes up. That'll get rid of 10 titanium for us. There we go. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Uh, let's make some more. That's five there. That's five there. Get rid of some of this copper. Beauty. Okay, good. That'll give us some room. Because we are short on space. Very short. I think from what I've seen on some of the like kind of teasers, I've seen that you can make uh, add-ons to the sea truck. So that's pretty hype. Maybe we'll be able to um, add some storage things onto that. Okay, let's cook this fish. So we got one of these boomerang boys. We'll slap him into the old oven there and bake him up. We'll eat him. Hit this water up. Maybe we'll catch a few bladder fish. Because I think we're going to go pretty far. We're going to do some, uh, some searching around for a little bit here. So let's get a little bit more prepared than I typically do. This would help a little bit. There's some water. A couple things of food here. There we go. That's plenty. That'll get us sitting pretty nice. Oh no, I cooked a bladder fish. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I cooked too quick. Alright, there we go. We can make two waters. There we go. My bad. I guess we can eat a fish anyways and have a few left over. Because we're not full on, on uh, food anyways. So that's no big deal. No big deal. Boom. Okay, let's eat one of these guys. There we go. Now we're looking pretty. And, you know what? Before we hop in the sea truck, let's take a look at our beacons. So we kind of want to go to one of these guys. Yeah. Delta Station Dock. Let's turn that beacon to green. And what do we got for a... Uh, Okay, so we got some decent upgrades already for the sea truck that we can do. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Delta oh. Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. That's all that was. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a decent readout. My bad. All right, let's do this. The sea truck's not very big. It's nowhere near... I don't feel anywhere near as safe as I used to feel in the submarine in Subnautica. But, uh... Even the submarine, you weren't really safe. Those Leviathans just... Oh, gee, oh, gee, willikers. <laughs> she gets snagged on stuff. Even with the uh, the decent size of the submarine, the Leviathans did not give a rip. They would destroy that thing so fast. I think if, like, three Leviathan hits blew that submarine up, and even if you dumped all your flares, they didn't seem to care. I feel like that's something that they definitely needed to fix was the, the flares don't really take the attention of anything. At least not in my case. Maybe other people have better luck, but I definitely did not. This thing rips pretty good. We're going into some pretty decent sized open water here, which is a little spooky. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah, this is getting pretty spooky over here. That... Oh, 
Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, he makes a lot of noise. That's spooky. Oh, those things are ghetto. Those things are big. Never mind. What what do the Leviathans look like? Jeez. Is this it? Is this all Delta Station's got for me? Oh no. Pick up the beacon. Or did we want to pick up the beacon or should we have left the beacon? <laughs> I feel like maybe we should have left the beacon. Oh this no. Is a recorded message. Oh, hello. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Whoa. That's not very nice. Look at these weird things. They're kind of spooky. Do they hurt you? They don't seem to hurt you. I feel like they're just like, they like heat everything up. That's so. Oh, that's crystalline soul for my dudes. Perfect. Well, I'm glad we found it because that would have been really annoying. I'm glad we know it's on land so I can stop searching the ocean floor and wasting my wasting my time because that was frustrating. Yes, please warm me up, dude. That's kind of sick. Those little penguin boys down there. Thank you. Thank you for your warmth. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. There's the temperature gauge on the, on the the biggest one on the left side there. Watch. Let's see how fast they heat you up. Oh, they're nice with it. Shrub nuts. <laughs> okay. Don't know if I should be touching those, but that's all right. There's some sulfur. Yeah. Oops, we're getting stuck here. We don't have a rifle yet, which is kind of ghetto, but I haven't seen anything hostile on land so far, which is good. I wonder what we're supposed to do here. Okay, here's something. Thank you. I feel like that thing would roast me. Oh, that's something to scan, isn't it? Mineral detector fragment, that's nice. Don't mind if I do. There we go. That thing just wants to cook me for dinner. I feel like that's what's happening. Oh, I haven't even looked this up. That's what they're called. Thermal lilies. It all makes sense now. I guess on a planet like this, you'd need those. She do be kind of chilly out here. But luckily, luckily for me, I live in Canada. So uh, this isn't uh, too far off the mark. <laughs> this doesn't weird me out at all. All right, let's head over here and just kind of do a little bit more searching around. Thank you, Thermal Lilies. Your heat is welcome. Anything going on out here? Doesn't seem to be much. I kind of wish we had like um, that shock weapon that we used to have in Subnautica. I kind of wish we had that so at least I could shock those big, big... Uh, things down there because they're pretty close to this base just kind of spooky man am i ever glad we depoted half our stuff before we came because like seems like this stuff is pretty necessary for the things we're going to be getting into here's the old shrub nuts what's up dudes yeah titanium we definitely need that i'm glad we depoted for titanium <laughs> stupid stupid nice more sulfur thank you Thank you for the warmth. It's very kind. Oh, inventory is already full. Well, we'll have to huck out some uh, titanium for some of that sulfur if we find any more because uh, we need that. From what I can tell, we are going to need all of that stuff. So there's a passageway that way. It's a little bit this way. We haven't scanned these guys yet, have we? Let's give them a little scan. So cute. Hello. Hello, little, little cutie guys. What is up? Look at this soup. Doesn't look good. I kind of want to stand in it, but I also don't want to die. So oh, let's get our warmth back up. Sweet. Man, those lilies are helpful. Blue scrub brush. That's funny. 
A little, little, little scrub brush action. We need something scrubbed. I know where to get brushes, boys. I know where to get the brushes. Okay, so we had that voice. Let's hop in the sea truck real quick. And just uh, listen to that uh, thingy. Yes, please. Oh. No. Why do I always do that? Okay, let's get rid of this. I am so bad for that. I just immediately assume. I never thought about how we're gonna get back in there. We'll have to jump. What the? Let me in, let me up. Let me up. Okay, honestly, you just got up like two seconds ago. Why are we having issues now? Uh oh. Did I just huck something? I feel like I threw something down. And I probably shouldn't have. No, it just puts it away. Okay, good. I thought I threw something. I was like, oh no. I keep getting stuck on things. It's very annoying. Okay, good. Now we have a light stick. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so let's enter the seed truck. Shrub nuts. You can eat them. Nice. There we go. This is what we want to do. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More. That's not what we want. We already read, we already listened to that. Emmanuel gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing, so I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary materials. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master's certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A the job is glorified as a, cons a glorified construction worker. Oh, okay, I've studied these interstellar law, like Dad said. Should have studied. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner. Ready to get your job at zeroing in on specific specific minerals it's better than hoping i stumbled across the right outcroppings true that will be nice for me especially nickel ore enamel glass sea truck depth upgrade we definitely want that i also wouldn't mind some stuff that's gonna actually like help us keep big mean boys off of us that'd be kind of nice okay kind of feel like we should oh there's something is that a sea truck so you were supposed to make it. See, we I think we found the sea truck way faster than you're supposed to. Pretty sure we did. Yeah, look at this. Don't need that. What do we got here? Violet blue. Yeah, I don't want any of that garbage. That's a big boy. I don't think we should be messing with him. Why are they so loud? Oh, he wants some. He wants some. Joke's on him. I don't want a battle. <laughs> That's spooky. Oh, dear lord. Dear lord. Goodness gracious me. I wonder if these guys will come after me now. Probably not. Nope. Oh, maybe. Yeah, they do. Ow. He bit me. Something bit me. Get out of here. You don't want none of this. Oh, should we just keep absolutely destroying fish against this thing? It's so funny. Does he hear them mashing up against the, the glass? Oops. Sorry, fishies. Oh, we hit something there. That didn't sound good. We're back to head office. Let's go. Okay, what can we make now? I feel like there's things we can make. What did we need to make that? Like, what were we needing? Repair tool. That's what we needed. Okay, sweet. So we can make that, which is awesome. That's a handy dandy guy. Battery. Oh, this is the mineral detector. Sweet. So we can make the battery, titanium, copper wire, silicone rubber. So we think we, I think we have silicone rubber just behind in the uh, storage container, which is good. And a battery needs two ribbon plants, which I'm pretty sure we picked up. No, we must have used them. So we'll put some of this. Okay, with the repair tool, doesn't that mean that I can make things as well? 
meant that I could make things, but... I guess we'll just repair our sea truck. Okay, and then we need ribbon plants. That should be no problem. At least I thought it would be no problem, but it's, it's proving otherwise. Come on, ribbon plants. Where are you at? Oh, it's out of battery. Are you kidding me? That sucks. There we go. Nice. We're gonna have to bomb some stuff. I think these take two inventory slots. Pretty sure they do. Right? Oh, they do only take one. Nice. Well, may as well grab some oxygen. titanium. Oh, shoot. I forgot about oxygen. It's a thing still. I guess if I had worn, if I had brought the sea truck, it wouldn't really be a big deal, but that's okay. Quite content with the, with the choices we've made. Other than our sea glide running on a battery, that was, that was definitely unfortunate. Dang sea glide, you useless piece of work. No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty useful when it has battery. All right, let's enter this bad boy. What is up, my guy? Use gravity truck to attack, attract light objects and small creatures. That's pretty sweet. I guess we should make one of those. It'll make you eating a lot quicker. Standard O2 tanks, compass. We should definitely do that. We should definitely make a compass, yes please. But we'll make a battery for now. Which sucks because we need this battery for whatever we're making right now. I already forget. We're making this guy. Shoot, we gotta go find more of those plants. We can go over the sea truck though. Detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we can put we've got this guy here. I guess we can put the knife. Well, we never use the dang flashlight. The flashlight's pretty pretty useless, so. Let's put the flashlight away for now. We'll put the mineral tool. We have the scanner. Yeah, to be honest, I never use that dang flashlight. I just don't see the point of it. So how do we use this guy? There we go, look at that. It changes right on it. So right now, Okay, so this can't find the violet stuff, so that's fine. We can go find those ourselves. Um, what do we need? Okay, so these are all decomposing. Let's eat that, drink Vital that, drink signs that. Stabilizing. Perfect. Let's hop in the sea truck. We'll go find more of those violet blue pl or violet plants because we need those for some more battery. So that'll be nice. Because I think we need at least four of them. Because I think we should make at least two batteries. Because we have quite a few things that run off battery. I'm glad the sea truck uses a lot. Well, it has a, it has a super battery, I guess. So it uses quite a bit less. But Or maybe it doesn't use less. It just obviously has double the battery. So that's nice. But at some point, that will be something we'll have to deal with as well. So it's always good to have extras. Where are these plants at? There's a few in there. Get in there, grab these guys. Yes, please. Is it just the three? That was a decent little outcropping of them. Huh, too bad. Only three. Why does this game have the scariest music ever? Oh man, that music is ghetto. Yeah, I definitely want to build a compass. That's kind of a big thing that I want to build, so. We'll build that as well because having a compass on the heads up display will be so sweet. Oh no, he's dead. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, he's hurting bad, look at him. 
Oh, <laughs> that is so funny. We actually killed them when we hit them. We can't be going that fast. Ow, that was my bad. What is that thing? Get out of here. Oh, we killed it. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Let's scan it. I'm glad we killed it, that's kind of nice. What if it was nice? Then maybe I'll feel bad, but... Also, probably not. <gasps> so weed, look at that, we got lucky. Altera communication thing? So weed. You know what, let's go do some searching down here. We couldn't really go down here before because... Obviously we... Our oxygen efficiency was greatly decreased. Oh, okay. So we need something better already. Like, this isn't even... Ooh, that's hurting bad. Look at look at the... I want to go down there to see that. That's one of those... Uh... Oh. Can we go down here? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull no, we can't. Dang. That's rough. We gotta, we gotta get the upgrades for that, um, for this thing so we can dive deeper. We can do that right away though, because uh, now that we have the mineral, the mineral thing, we can, can actually do something about it. I kind of want to ram this thing. I'm going to do it. Let's get him. Yeah. Did we kill it? We did. That is so easy. Eat that sucker. Why do we, why are we doing the coral bridge? I want to scan this thing. Can I go to my inventory and cut this thing up? Let's see if we can. Yeah, eat it. You probably bit me a couple times, you jerk. It's too bad we can't uh, scan it as soon as, as soon as we kill it. But we scanned that manta ray, and it was definitely or that that uh, arctic stingray, and it was already dead. I'm pretty sure. I guess I'm not a dev, so I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's okay. Not a huge deal. In terms of huge deals, this is a zero. Alright, let's head back to little base, basey boy here. We haven't even gone under... We haven't gotten uh, even 10% of our uh, total battery power yet. We've, we've taken her quite a ways, I, I think. I think we went pretty far. I guess we should rebattery the the sea glide as well. I mean, it's not super necessary anymore now that we have the sea truck, but I mean, I guess you know what? Let's turn those lights off. I feel like that's gonna use battery. I don't know if it does, but I'd rather not find out. Repair this one because we got into a few kerfuffles. It's taking a decent amount of repair, eh? Wow. All right, cool. So let's get these <coughs> batteries made. make that compass because I think we have to make an advanced wearing kit if I'm not mistaken okay wasn't that here equipment that's where it was so we need copper wire and a wiring kit and a wiring kit so we need two silver ore so that's no problem we got that two copper beautiful I'm glad we're using some of our stuff now so that we don't have to have a full um, storage at all times because that's kind of frustrating being able to depot stuff is primo all right let's do this make that this will be nice perfect look at that that's awesome do we need anything else so i think we should do our upgrades now so we need a plasteel ingot and an enameled glass now, what does it take to make a plasteel ingot? Titanium and lithium. We definitely don't have lithium. No, we don't. Okay, so that's something we'll have to deal with. That should be no big deal. Now that we have this guy. Lithium. But we should put a battery in this guy. There we go. Awesome. What happens to the old batteries? Can you recharge them? 
Oh, we should be able to charge them. I remember back in the uh, the old one, you used to be able, in like the first Subnautica, you used to be able to charge batteries in the wall. <laughs> be nice to be able to do that again. Craft the old water jug here. Give me some of that. Yes, please. And we have this Nutra block. Ooh, that filled us up like crazy. I don't want these beacons. Why do I have to hold them? <laughs> I don't want to hold these beacons. We can get rid of this flare, because we don't need it. So we can put a beacon in there. Which is good. Okay. Now, how does this guy work? Okay, let's get in the sea truck. Oops. Already just ramming. Oh, 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 what the, what the, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Jeez. That was so weird. Just started spinning around like crazy. Okay, we are going the wrong way. Oh, having a compass is so nice. Oof, we're just ramming stuff because we're definitely going the wrong way. I wonder where we're going to have to go for lithium. I wonder if it'll be low, like deeper. Probably. I'm assuming that'll be the case. So let's start to dive a little bit here. Go down into the creek vine territory. We're going to have to go deeper. We're not deep enough yet. Should be a drop here. Oh, 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 oh. This thing really snags on the ground. Let me tell you what. There we go. What do we got down here? Two Altera things. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency Sweet. increased. Okay, now, let's try this. I wonder if this works. Like, how does this work? I don't understand how this thing works. Like, is it gonna warn me when we're near something? Oh, there's something over there. There's something right down here. We might be too deep. In terms of how much I want to get killed by one of these, I'm at a zero, so let's just ram them. I'd rather just kill them before they kill me. Beauty. So now that they're dealt with, it really doesn't take much health onto this guy either to hit them, so that's kind of awesome. Seems like an awesome way to do it. High capacity O2 tank, that is awesome. There we go, builder fragment, look at that. Awesome. So that's what we were missing was a builder fragment. Habitat Builder. Yes, that is so sick. Let's scan all the stuff down here. Bioreactor. Cool. Well, that's sweet. We can get our base going. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, this is deadly. I did not expect to be uh, finding that stuff so quickly. Oh, hello. Rest in peace. Sweet, sweet shark boy. Is there something up there? No, nope, doesn't seem like it. Now, I'm, I'm very curious as to how that uh, searching thing works. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't swim me out somewhere where there's going to be bigger ones. There we go. We got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Okay, so let's stop here. Let's see if maybe this guy... Something sounds mad. No lithium. It's showing something. That must be lithium. 
Right on. Okay, so let's see how it works now. Don't really want to get eaten by that thing. Oof, that thing is spooky. So it's showing lithium. Hmm. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hmm. Okay. Where? Oh, dang. We just keep on ramming this bad boy and stuff. There's the lithium. I'm blind. But I ain't that blind. So, we're gonna get any readings. Anything. Give us some. Give us some. Hop into the sea glide. Give us some room here. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Really? What do we got down here? Oh, the sea truck. Don't really care about that, to be honest. Since we have one already. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Alright, let's let, let's go back and we'll move the sea truck around. Feel a little safer inside of that bad boy. It was a good idea we swap batteries in this thing. <laughs> it's it's coming it's coming quite handy. Alright. Now that I know what it looks like, I bet you I can peruse the cliffs here and just see. We can see it. It's pretty obvious. I mean, still nice to have, because I wouldn't have found it in the first place. But I feel like now we'll be all right. What do you say we drop her here? Still no lithium, hey? You'd think we'd find some now. Titanium, really? Really titanium? Hmm. Just trying to keep a super close eye on the open water because you never know what's going to come out of it. Eat your face. So we're getting some. We're getting a little reading. There's some there. Was that the one we were getting? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I thought we were getting something over here. We are. There we go. Awesome. Getting some over here. Right on top of it. Oxygen. Whew. Made it just in time. Okay, so we got quite a bit there. That was awesome. That was a good run. What do we got for it? We got five of them. Nice. Well, that's not too shabby so far. Let me check what that, uh, that blueprint is to make it, that plasteel. So two lithium to one titanium ingot, which is five pieces of titanium. I don't think I really want to get eaten by that thing. So let's, uh, c'est la vie. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Dodge, my dudes. The last thing we want to get eat. Last thing we want is to get gobbled up by that thing. Oops, oops, oops. Man, this thing just grabs the seafloor when you hit it. it. There's no slide. It's just like... <laughs> just a straight nosedive. Okay, let's pull over up over here I hope at some point this sea truck can be like a full mobile like base that would be so cool like if we could have like a manufacturer or a fabricator in here that would be lights out okay so let's hide in here while we repair 
because I kind of want to repair this guy. But I also don't want to get gobbled up by something large. This looks like a nice little spot. Oh yeah, she's getting all buttoned back up. Beautiful. Okay, let's pull this guy out again. Just see, just because we can. Diamond, hey? Gold, ion cube, limestone chunk. Limestone chunk right here, eh? Cool. Okay, so let's head back to base, to the fabricator. And uh, we'll see what we can make. I'm sure there's something we can throw together. Hopefully we can get that depth thing. That would be good. The depth uh, upgrade. That would be huge. I always like staying in the starting areas as long as I can because nothing here will eat you. <laughs> and I'm a scaredy cat, so this is perfect. The longer we are here, the less anxious I am. Alrighty, let's hop into this bad boy. I feel very safe when I'm in here, which is nice. Okay, so let's make one of these anyways because we, we can. We've got tons of titanium. That's never going to be an issue. Make a plasteel here, and then what is that? What are we? I forget what we're building. We're enameled glass. Enameled glass, hey? Eh? How do we make that? Lead, diamond, and glass. Wow, that is a dank recipe. Lead, diamond, and glass. Wow. Hokey Dina. That is expensive. I wonder where we're going to find freaking diamonds. Even lead is hard enough to find. Why doesn't this give us lead? That's lead. Awesome. So that's what's in the Galena outcroppings, I guess. So that's nice to know. Okay, so that's titanium though. It's like, it's very tough to know what's... That's lead, awesome. Okay, well they're working out pretty good. Working out better than uh, than nothing, I guess. That's limestone. Don't really care about that. Oxygen. I guess oxygen's still a thing. <laughs> okay. Titanium. Not what we're looking for. Limestone. It says it's right. Oh, there it is. Lead. Perfect. Okay, so these are definitely the play when it comes to lead. There it is. Titanium. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's go grab the sea truck. Um, actually, well, let's see if we can find diamond first. See if that becomes an issue. So we have yet to have a point for diamond. So I guess we should. Oh, for goodness sakes. I guess we should probably go back to where we were prior, right? Out in the deep water. And see if we can find diamond. Because I don't think they're in this shallow area. Let's 
let's head on down. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. Okay, so there's something decreased. down here to scan. That's the sea truck fragments. We don't really care, but whatever. So nothing around here. I wonder if it'll be on land. I mean, I doubt it, but maybe it is. Or maybe it's in that same area we were finding lithium. Bet you that's where it'll be. Oh, we're getting too low. The hull's gonna start crushing in. Now, if only I was watching which way we were going when we went to... Oh, it's by the Delta thing. Oh, I picked up that stupid beacon. That was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I think it's just out this way, though. That was a bad idea. I should not have picked up that beacon. I just kill these things. I'm the apex predator now, son. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm the daddy now. Check this out. Little Altair action. Let's see what we got. Water, nice. Well, this is literally. Like this was somebody's base, I think. Like this was like he was growing stuff here. Huh. Those ribbon plants are always good, but I mean, we don't need them right now. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, now we're getting into this scarier area. Now we actually have to be careful about what we're doing in terms of who's around. I already don't like it. I don't remember it being this dark. I wonder if we can hit one of these. Uh-oh. Thing's stuck on me. Yeah, look at it, look at it. It won't let me exit my thing. It's stuck on me. Look at it. Oh, no. Am I glitched? I think we broke the game. Look at I cannot leave the sea truck until that despawns. We literally got that thing stuck inside of us. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? We cannot exit our vehicle because of this thing. What is happening right now? I still can't exit. It's stuck on top of us. Can I barrel roll? No. This is so ridiculous. Look at. Oh, did it fall off? Nope. No way. This is really annoying. I cannot get out of this thing. What the heck, dude? Look at. Still can't exit. I wonder if I save and relog. This is so dumb. Oh no, oh, 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 frag, friggin'. We are a sea monkey now. We have become the sea monkey. This is so ridiculous, look at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to relog, but I'm gonna get back to base first. Some spooky water, dude. Why hasn't this thing despawned yet since we killed it? I wonder how long it takes. Oh my lord, this is so ridiculous. Still can't exit. Can I exit? No. I cannot get out of this thing. 
<laughs> Jeez. This is frustrating. Oh, no. We found a bug, ladies and gentlemen. We found a bug. <gasps> we got out. It despawned. Thank God. That was so annoying. Oh, was that annoying. Okay, awesome. Well, that's good. I'm glad we didn't have to relog or anything. I guess we're not running into those guys anymore. So if you intentionally hit those suckers, it ain't good. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Don't run into them. They kind of wrecked our uh, our whole game plan for finding diamonds. Stupid thing. What is that fragment? Probably sea truck. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get out here. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Hope I don't Oxygen die. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Nothing yet. Nothing. Still nothing. Diamonds are not in this area. This is not the diamond zone. Dang, nab it. Well. Not much we can do. Until we find diamonds. Because we can't go any deeper. Which is annoying. But. I guess we'll head back to the old basey poo here. Should drink some water. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got some water in our, in our systems now. We're good to go. All systems go. Obviously, we're gonna go under this guy. Oh yeah, baby. Boom, we made it home. We made it home safe. Didn't die yet. This is impressive. Give this guy a little repair action. Boom, baby. Let's get it. Now, I wonder... Here, let's see if we can listen to some of these things. I wonder if they'll lead us towards where we need to go. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. <laughs> you don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. I'm just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. <laughs> it appears you transported tech for Lil rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. Bed leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Sai, I guess I could try to go back for parts when it leaves, if it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. So something followed him so that's spooky on my application to mention that I had a severe galeophobia which is wait for it fear of sharks so I imagine I was surprised when I discovered the brute sharks here there's a reason they didn't call them gentle sharks anyways my research post outpost is half finished I scraped my leg on a piece of coral the blood drew a brute shark and I couldn't build the rest fast enough I used an air bladder to get to the surface I dropped a builder tool inside the base if anyone makes it down there they can have it so that's what we that's what we saw and that's what we grabbed which is awesome so we grabbed the builder tool which is Deadly. That is very nice. Tech. Vehicles. Sea truck. Okay. 
Additional bespoke cargo map modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin, providing a range of powerful benefits, including fabricators, docking stations, habitat sections, and of course, plenty of storage. Awesome. Cool. So we can like totally pimp this thing out and make it something sick. Can we do that with our build tool? Is that what that's for? Didn't we grab that thing? I think we did. Repair tool. Oh, we have to... Okay. Did they drop the tool? And we have to make it? Habitat builder. Oh, I see. So we actually have to build it. I thought that we picked it up. We have to just use it. Dang, schnabbit. Well, that's all right. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. And if you infinity times a thousand enjoyed it, hit the bell notification so that you get to see more. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.